Los Angeles Lakers come knocking. Mm -hmm. You get that job. You come in uh, the year after Phil Jackson leaves. Hell of shoes to fill. Mike made some bags, man. Mike yeah. made some, made some bags, Some man. big shoes to fill. Lakers. <laughs> My boy got his bag. Like. Um, how, did that, how did that process happen? Uh, first of all, if I could do it again, I probably wouldn't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad at you. Because, you know, Phil, he's one of the all-time right. greatest. And, you know, you're not going to be able to duplicate anything he does. And I hate to say this, but you ain't gonna be able to duplicate what Pop did. That's a tough you, you know, they, they say, and, and even Steve Kerr now to yeah. some degree, you know, yep. uh, it just is what it is. Uh, but the challenge was great, and all of that stuff. When I looked at it, when I looked at the job, I, I just thought that there was still a lot left with the team. And obviously, God rest his soul, but Kobe's Kobe. So, mm -hmm. so you, you know, okay, you, you got Kobe. And then the reality of it is, there were some great players. You know, Powell is mm -hmm. great. Even Andrew Bynum for a young guy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I don't know if at the time, Deron changed his name already. Man, yeah, time, yeah, you know what it was. He was Ron, so, yeah. Yep, yeah. So met, you know, mm -hmm. it, I mean, you, Fish, there was a lot there. But but the reality of it is, I was mo next most excited about Lamar Odom. So much game. It, it, it bec and you're right. Not only did they have so much game, but the – flexibility, the versatility yeah, that wow. gave that team. Mm -hmm. Like, you could play big with him at the three. Uh, uh, Powell, uh, Powell and Drew. And Drew. Or you could play you could play him small. At five. Powell at the five. Well, you could play yeah. Powell at the five, him at the four, mm -hmm. and, and then, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So the versatility on that team excited me more than anything else. And I never, that was the lockout year. I'll never forget. Man, we, we we had a lockout year the whole time as a staff. We working on it, try how can we enhance this mm -hmm. versatility, and not just not uh, not just offensively but defensively too. And uh, and then two days before training camp start, you know, they say they traded them. Oh man, that 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 crushed me. That mm -hmm. crushed me. And uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I thought we still had a, a decent year. We mm -hmm. I think we, we won the Pacific Division. I want to yep. say that year and. Uh, we took uh, it was OKC. We took OKC to seven games and or six games in the second round, you, you know. Um, and yes, there could have you know you look back and I wish I did this different or that different, but I thought we had a good year. And mm -hmm. then year two, uh, we started off one and four. I was okay with it because we had a lot of new faces that we were trying to integrate in terms of of Dwight Nash mm -hmm. and there was maybe somebody else and and uh, but. I go in and, and I get fired and it is what it is. It's the business. It's the the cold gives us five yeah. games. Uh, real quick, what was it like working with Kobe and trying to, I don't even know, I, what do you call coach player relationship? For, I mean, not friends, but how, like, how did you get on the same page with Kobe? How, what was that process like? I, it was great because Kobe, for me, you know, and there were a lot, there were a lot of coaches, you know, we, we have our own coach speak, but there are a lot of coaches that coach Kobe around Kobe that had a hard time because Kobe Blunt now. Kobe gonna look you in the eye and tell you mm -hmm. what he wanna tell you. For me, I like that because I, I I felt I always knew where I stood with You him. never had to assume. I didn't mm -hmm. have to be cor correct. That's the best way to say I didn't have to assume anything. Because mm -hmm. if he didn't like it, he, he gonna, gonna tell, tell you. Mm -hmm. And so that was for me the best part about him. You know, now you throw in his competitiveness and all this other stuff. And I, it, it was great. Now the thing that was tough was because he had won championships with Phil and he won them in a certain way, it was hard as a young coach to say, hey, Kobe, let's do it this way. New style, he wasn't having it. Yeah. You, you I'll know. say it for you. Like you would just see, and it wasn't almost, it wasn't like, like I said, it wasn't a, a disrespecting. It was just like, Kobe's like, we've won five this way. So yes, now there's did. a whole new philosophy of what Mike is trying to implement on us. And it's just sometimes it just, didn't work. Hundred percent, and, and and I don't blame him because yeah. I'd probably be the same way mm -hmm. too if I was with him and I experienced five championships right. doing it a certain way. But the tough part about it, man, as, as you know, is I can't be Phil. Right. That's hard, and not, right. not only that, I wasn't even on his staff, so I don't. Really, so now I'm learning a lot as we're going along yeah. of what used to happen, and because I don't coach like that or I wasn't around. Sometimes it's hard for me. I can't adjust just mm -mm. because Phil did it. Right. You, you know, you got to do it your way. Yep. But what you didn't know coming in, like there was some internal funk. And when Phil decided it was time and Mike came in, you would never know Phil Jackson was ever there. They took 
all of his yeah. shit down, bro. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. All of it. So some guys are coming back like. Not, not only that, if you remember too, the, the whole scouting department, they. Gone. Was gone. And then they brought in. I mean, there was there was a there was a lot, a lot of, of stuff change, there, a lot of change at that time. Up, yeah. I think Jim Buss was making calls at that point, and there yeah. was a lot of moving parts. 